Elsa is a 42-year-old female who was admitted in the clinic for swallowing difficulty, leading at the end of the day to total dysphagia, dysarthria, limb muscle weakness, and bilateral eyelid ptosis with incomplete occlusion. She had no personal history of illnesses, no family history of neurological diseases, no known allergies. She was a non-smoker and denied alcohol consumption. Physical examination showed the episodes of swallowing difficulties, dysarthria, chewing problems, limited facial expressions. For making diagnosis, nose, ear, throat examination was performed, which showed no pathological findings. So she was diagnosed with depression and various antidepressant treatments were attempted with no improvement. Then she was referred to a neurologist. Moving towards further diagnosis, a brain MRI was performed, but showed no abnormalities. The chest computed tomography revealed normal thymic lodge. Different laboratory tests were performed, which showed the abnormal levels of acetylcholine receptor antibodies. Taking into account the medical history, the clinical examination of the patient and the various abnormal laboratory results, the doctor considered myasthenia gravis to be the most probable suspected diagnosis. How will you further move towards the right diagnosis? What suitable laboratory tests will you perform to confirm the right diagnosis? What disease your ELSA is suffering from and how will you treat ELSA? It will be easier to answer these questions when you have a thorough understanding of myasthenia gravis. Scaria.com is bringing a complete lecture of more than 40 minutes on myasthenia gravis, along with the short clips for quick learning. You can watch these videos on Scaria.com to solve this case study. Simply go to Scaria.com, subscribe, and get a free trial for two days.